Hello and welcome. Today's video is going to be about landing gear. I modded the firmware for the APM 2.6 version 3.21 so your landing gear will auto retract. Um, usually people would use the minus one here so you can use your dial on your CX20 remote but if you have a gimbal you can't really use that. So anyways um, I made it friendly for both so I used uh, motor 8 instead of using an LED, which probably would have been a lot easier and saved me hours and hours of trying to figure out how to do this. But anyway, so on this APM here, you used uh, down here for motor 8. And on this guy here, motor 8 here. Um, make sure you don't use 5 volts off either of the APMs off the rails because uh, you'll brown out the APM and it'll come crashing. I went through 7 blades figuring that out. Um, so what I basically did here on the APM 2.6, just remove the jumper for JP1 and power up the 5 volt rail here with another Beck or something. And uh, yeah, you also have to piggy tail the two um, legs together from motor 8. Um, besides that, I'll upload the firmware, I'll show a video, and uh, I think that's about it. Not sure if I mentioned that I hard coded it to be six feet, and uh, I'll look into changing that. I was gonna cheat and sneak in a sonar parameter or something like that. I was just gonna make you guys have to change it there, but uh, I'll look into adding a parameter maybe later if there's any interest in this. Um, I ordered a whole bunch of parts to make my own daughter board, and I ordered barometers and stuff like that too, about eight or 10 of them or something like that, so I can add it to the CX-20. I ordered a real set of landing gears and then I ordered all the parts to make my own. So I'll be making a video about that. It just happened that uh, my legs, my real legs came first and none of my parts. So I got bored and decided to hack the firmware. Or not really hack it, it's open source. But anyways, so I modded the firmware. Okay guys, that's it. Uh, that's enough of me babbling. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. If you run into any problems with it, let me know. And that's it. Thanks for watching guys. Right, so this is version 3.21 with my mod with um, adding it so the legs auto retract. The quadcopter is in really bad shape because it has other issues right now, and I won't get into that in this video, but hopefully another one will come up. So I'm just going to show you guys quickly it going up and then coming back down, and the legs doing it on their own. Right. It's a little windy again like usual, so hopefully it doesn't crash. So I have it hard coated in for about six feet. I'll look into adding it later maybe for something else. But at least now it frees up the two gimbal ports. Really windy here. All right, it's getting too windy. All right, I should also mention too that in your house, after you have the uh, legs hooked up to your CX20, all you have to do is plug in the battery and uh, just walk up some stairs or something and you'll be able to test it that way to see if the legs go up and down. Yeah. Uh, you don't have to arm it or nothing like that. Again, thanks for watching. Bye.